hey hey everyone and uh, welcome in it's a monkey mar before we get into today's video please make sure you uh, click that subscribe uh, button the bell for notifications and of course the like all right guys we have another update on melissa caddick the missing millionaire businesswoman fails to show up in hundreds of hours of CCTV. Now that is interesting because we are going to take a little road trip and drive down her street because I can guarantee you there was massive amounts of video surveillance in this neighborhood. All right, guys, with that, let's uh, get into this new news on Melissa Caddick. My, my, how the plot is thickening. So let's get into this update. So her teenage son heard the front door of their cliffside home close three weeks ago when his mother left for her usual early morning run. And that was about 5.30 a.m. And she never returned. Police say there is no trace of Melissa Caddick despite combing through hundreds of hours of CCTV footage from neighboring properties. Now officers are urging anyone who may have dash cam footage of surrounding areas from the evening before and on the morning Miss Caddick went missing to come forward as they desperately search for new clues in the baffling case. Detective Inspector Gretchen Atkins told reporters on Tuesday that officers were focusing their search on Walongra Road, Dover Road, Military Road, Rodney Street, Lyon Street, Hardy Street, and Portland Street. Mrs. Caddick's likely running route and we will go ahead and, and include those road streets in our road trip. We have hundreds of hours of CCTV footage from neighbors and the public but do not have any trace of her she said. At this point in time we do not have Melissa on the footage. Inspector Atkins also remained adamant that this was still a missing persons case despite Miss Caddick's lawyer making a sensational claim in court that it was now being treated as a murder investigation. At this point, we can't definitely say where Melissa is, but we are treating it as a missing persons case, she said. Dressed in activewear, the 49-year-old vanished from her multi-million dollar Dover Height home in Sydney's eastern suburbs on November 12th of 2020. She didn't take her phone, keys, or any other belongings. So then it goes on that she was last seen by her husband, Anthony Coletti, when the pair went to bed on November 11th, the day after their home was raided by the AFP and ACIC before Miss Caddick was slapped with a court order freezing all her assets and confiscating her passport. NSW Police Detective Inspector Gretchen Atkins said there had been no trace of Melissa Caddick. She was due to appear in federal court on November 13th, the day after she vanished. Inspector Atkins would not comment on whether Miss Caddick may have met with foul play or if she staged her own disappearance, which was not ruled out by police last week, who claimed they were exploring several theories. You know, her lawyer could also be pushing the fact that she was maybe murdered because he might be in on the whole entire Gone Girl scenario. I am not sure what to think about this um, case story. I don't know if she's missing, if she ran away. It's it's very fascinating. But I do hope and pray that Melissa Caddick is, of course, alive. After weeks of searching, the case continues to leave detectives scratching their heads. 
prompting police to reappeal to motorists who may have dash cam vision from the area in Sydney's eastern suburbs between 6.30 p.m. on Wednesday, November 11th and 8 a.m. on Thursday, November 12th. Now that is very interesting because the husband claims she went for her morning run. The son claims he heard the door open, but they are going back to 6.30 p.m. the night before she supposedly went on her morning jog. Earlier, Mr. Coletti described Miss Caddick as a beautiful sister and loved wife. We are asking the community of Australia to help bring Melissa home, he said. He said she always took her phone on her morning runs, but in this case, she didn't. Melissa Caddick's distraught husband, Anthony Coletti, just wants her home. Inspector Aiken said Miss Caddick's family and friends were assisting the police. Last week, officers also suggested they were not ruling out Miss Caddick staging her disappearance. We are not ruling anything out at this stage and are working on several theories. Bondi Police Acting Crime Manager Stuart Thomas said at this time, Miss Caddick was known to frequent the Bondi, Dover Heights, and Rose Bay areas and also spent a lot of time in the city and would often take walks at Miss Macquarie's chair. She is described as being of a white woman about 165 centimeters tall of slim build with long brown hair. It's getting more and more interesting as the time goes. I don't know. I just picture her sitting on an island in Fiji with duffel bags of money. Maybe her husband doesn't know. Maybe she was leaving the whole deal, but the one thing that doesn't sit well is her 13-year-old son. I have put in all of the addresses that we saw in the article where she goes for her morning run and how come no surveillance camera actually picked her up. Look at how congested this area is. So let's go down to her house. And she is, let's see, Walongra Road. And she lives right here. There are a lot of cameras around. So let's go for a little drive down Walongra Road. Million Dollar Mansions pancaked into each other. It's a beautiful area though. I've never been to Australia. I would definitely like to go out there and uh, visit and maybe if this COVID-19 ever gets under control. Yeah, it's definitely a nice neighborhood. Let's go back into an area. And check out her little running road. So, here's the cliffs. And where's that road she lives on right here? Okay, so she lives right here. And this is the route, well not the exact route because like I said I don't have a crystal ball, but this is the area on the roads that she runs. I can't even speculate which way she goes. But look at how congested this area is. And considering these are million dollar homes and she was not picked up on surveillance camera, it's very interesting. I mean, did she leave like in the trunk of a car? I don't know guys, this is just uh, it's so intriguing. Is she alive? Is she missing? Did she run away? 
did her husband do something? It's just one of those stories to go on top of the other stories of Erica Lloyd, Jennifer Doulis, Kelsey Barrett, Suzanne Morphew, Echo Lloyd. There's so many missing. Briasia Terrell. Uh, it's unbelievable. All right, guys, that is it for the maps. And, hmm, I think that might be it. So, leave your thoughts, your opinions, your comments. You know I love to hear from you guys. And with that, it is a wrap. I want to thank you all for coming in. Thank you for uh, watching. Uh, please like or dislike, whichever you prefer. And a subscribe. Everyone have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world. And stay uh, vigilant. I am out.